Hi, Stonebridge members. This is Tim Jones, your general manager, and I'm here with Jeff Zink, your fitness director. Kevin Swank, tennis director. So we want to talk today about the new community center that's going to be up for a vote in about a month, month and a half. And we have the poster boards on either side of us right now. And it truly is a lot more than just a fitness center. So we want to talk about some of the different uh, aspects of the community center. So let's first talk about the fitness center, Jeff. Um, obviously we have a little bit more room to work with. So why don't you tell us about what we can expect? Yeah, so it's really nice. What we have now is a, a bunch of congestion within the atmosphere that's down there right now. And what we do here is we're able to spread out all the equipment in three layers here. So there's plenty of room in between each machine, in the rows, two bodies can go by without interference there, okay? As far as the room goes, the capacity in the room that we currently have has been maxed out for years, all right? So what this will do is almost double what we have down there now. So we shouldn't have any problems with, you know, getting in classes of all kinds. We got golf fitness, yoga, um, boxing, additional classes that we'll add in. The way that it's laid out, it, it, it functions as it should. You're not crossing, you know, to get, to, to put this over here would be wrong because all the equipment's over there. So when you come up the stairs and they enter the room, it's open and spacious any direction you go. When the class in, empties, they come out and they're gone, okay? They're not, right now we have congestion. Yeah, it's, really, it's really a pinch point yeah. when people come out of the class because they're they're emptying right into the room. Right into and the there's room. a lot more room for stretching, which is oh, yeah. really it's an issue right now. Stretching, and the nice part is the stretching can be done in here and in, in this class because right now with, with the multiple classes back to back, nobody can use the floor that we have now. So with the floor downstairs, this will be allowed for from stretching to whatever people want to do one-on-one -on -one with. Yeah, when the classes aren't going to be right. And it's a good point about the, so there's two rooms. So we have the larger room on the second floor, the smaller room on the first floor. Mm -hmm. So we'll actually be able to have multiple classes going on at the same time since everyone seems to want to have classes in the morning. Yep, um, seems to be the, you know, the common from everybody. Yep, yeah, and another feature on the first floor is this uh, smaller room here, which is basically going to be available for massage or physical therapy. We know from other clubs they've had great success with basically dedicating a space and a lot of times that's uh, farmed out to a third party that can that can provide those services to the members. All right, Kevin, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, tennis aspect of this project. Well, um, first of all, the, the most important thing is tennis won't be interrupted at all for, for this project. We'll be able to maintain play. Um, it's not going to affect the tennis courts whatsoever, so we're going to be able to keep going on the five tennis courts we have with, without any uh, hiccups, and, and that's a really nice thing for, for our members. Um, tennis isn't affected greatly by this project, but there are uh, a couple areas that, that, that are going to be nice. We're going to have um, my office, and, and Tim's promised me a, a really nice couch and big screen TV. Uh, It'll be at least a third of the size it is now, so that'll be good. We, we have a proposed, uh, right now storage is a little bit of an issue for us, and we have a proposed storage building uh, that's gonna go out that'll be built to the architectural standards of, of, of our club, and it'll be really nice. We'll be able to put some pallets of clay and some other stuff that's just been kind of scattered around and doesn't make the facility look that nice right now. So that'll uh, hopefully uh, go in and, and uh, alleviate our storage issues. Um, as you come in, this will be covered and so we'll be able to have our uh, ice and beverage station and towels and stuff all under coverage and, and where the members sign in, I think it'll be really nice. Um, and then access to the office right there with all the stuff here and then straight to the courts. Um, corresponding on the second floor, that is, uh, will be a, 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 a deck viewing area veranda that'll overlook the courts and it'll be give you an upper raised level look onto the tennis courts, I think that's going to be really nice. It, it, being able to be elevated and to look down on tennis uh, really makes it a little bit more interesting to watch. It'll help us when we do our events. Uh, we'll be able to set up maybe a, a bar up there, and a buffet station, have people come out and intermingle between the two areas. And uh, I, I think it's just going to be really great. Um, yeah, and this, and this uh, on the second floor here, this larger aerobics room, We'll have sliding glass doors, as you see there, so we'll actually open up. So like, like Kevin said, we could have a, a bar up there, a buffet station, you 
know, when Kevin does his matches with the other pros, members can be up there heckling from the second floor. So we look, we look forward to that. And as Kevin said, there's gonna be a storage uh, unit plan on the north side of court three. And that'll really be nice just to get all that loose equipment uh, buttoned up and put away. You know, right now, oftentimes you see a pallet of clay in the parking lot. So all that will have, have its own home. So we look forward to that. So Kevin, you mentioned about tennis staying open throughout the project, and that's, that's gonna be a big plus. Um, Jeff, why don't you tell us a little bit about fitness during the renovation? So what we'll do is on the pool, any activities on the pool, what we'll do is try to generate on pools throughout the neighborhood, like we did when before Heather Wood was kind of let us use it. Yeah. Um, and that seemed to work really well. I mean, it's not as big, but it, it gets through. Um, as far as the fitness part goes, the Live Oak room will be able to take a good amount of equipment in here. That way on site, you can still have, you know, from your treadmills and loose weights and stuff like that. So you're not gonna lose the ability to totally work out. Yep. Um, in the time frame in which this would happen, the, the, the weather is gonna cool off. So anything that we do inside a room, I can possibly do outside, even on the per personal training part. Okay, so that part, and then over at NCH, we're working on having the ability to, to work straight out of there. Right, yeah, the, uh, the NCH Fitness Center in Green Tree Plaza, we've been talking to them about Jeff possibly being able to offer some classes and personal training over there as mm -hmm. well. But I think utilizing the live open, which is where we are now, is will be a big benefit. Um, when we get ready to demo the fitness center, we'll right. take that floor out of the aerobics yep. room. We'll lay it down in here, bring up uh, as much of the equipment as we can so members still have the opportunity to work out uh, throughout the renovation, mm -hmm. all the way from, from beginning to end. Yep. So yeah, we really look forward to it. Uh, the voting is going to start right after the town hall meeting on November 4th, and that will be open for a few weeks. So we look forward to everyone voting yes so we can get these projects done. And for only additional $48 uh, a month on top of what the members are currently paying for their renovation loan. So $12 a week, have all this and more.